In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the animation you just created to create a character in a scene. So what we're going to do, we can either do this by creating a new object and attaching the bone animation script or we can just create the uh, object directly. I prefer the latter method so I'm going to go up here to create smooth moves bone animation. So this creates an empty object with the bone animation script attached. Now you can also go up to the Smooth Moves menu and go to Tools, sorry, uh, Create Game Object and Bone Animation from there. But I just find it's easier to go straight straight there. So now that we have the script attached, we just need to take the animation that we just created and drag it to the animation data. You can also click on the circle and browse for your animation, but I find it easier just to drag and drop. So that's pretty much all you have to do. Now to get it to show up in your scene before you play, you can force build, or if you have auto build on, you can just play. So let's go, let's try that. You can see it's building it here, and it's asking me to save the scene. Um, I don't have a scene set up, so I'm just going to create one real quick. So now the animation's there. You can see if I zoom out, there it is. It's playing. Highlighted here, so if I uncheck this, it's now built. Now one thing to note is that these animations come in, if you have the import scale set to 1, it comes in 1 pixel to 1 world unit, so that's pretty big. And you can see if the camera's right up next to it, it's not going to show in your scene, so the best thing to do is just to drag your camera back. Until your bone animation shows up in your game, but if you have a 3D environment, you'd probably want to scale down your import scale here so that this matches that environment a little better. Now the other thing I could have done, and instead of just letting it auto build and hit play, I could have done force build. If I click on that, it's asking me to save the current scene because it's going to have to go through every scene and build all the animations. So I click save and it just goes through. And it's actually going through probably the Rise of the Doe uh, game scene and then it'll go through my current scene. But you see there's a lot of, lot of clips that it's actually building so that's going to take a little while and then it gives you the summary and it tells you what all was built so you can look that over if you want and then pick OK and it's ready to go but uh, again it's it's already set to do that now you can see what it did when it built the animation over here is it added an animation component and the uh, actual animations are not attached so you won't see any in there it also created a skin mesh render with some default settings that are pretty good for 2D uh, like no casting of shadows only one bone quality since each bone only affects um, one set of uh, quads. Um, there's also a listing of your materials used in the animation. We have weapons and a chef and that can change as your animation goes. If you have other materials come in they'll pop up and, and disappear as your animation dictates. You'll also notice here in the uh, folder it creates a, another folder called resources. Well your animation underscore resources and what that does is it creates all the animations as standalone clips from your animation data. That lets the uh, Smooth Moves engine reuse the same information without having to recreate it for every object, which cuts down on your memory usage and also allows uh, prefabs to load in this information at runtime without having to build it. So that speeds up your load time and lowers your memory usage as well. So that's how you get an animation into a scene.